I can't reach it. Dang it. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to school. Um, I have to get caught up on my uh, homework that I haven't got done yet for arithmetic. We already started the next section. Oh, that's like really wonky. Um, so, and I'm not done with my review work. Oh. So I need to try to get that done. I'm going to put you here. Um, it's going to be a little wonky for view. I'm sorry. I got the window open and the sun is out and I should probably like open, open the window. Hold on. Let me open the window and make it really nice in here. Okay. I'm all situated. Now I have, I'm in chapter two of this book. Um, I am still in the early parts of this book. This book has a lot of writing. This teacher says he wants me to write out my my answers to these instead of just doing them. So I am in chapter two. Okay, so I'm in chapter two. Um, it's kind of wonky because they don't have good dividing points on these. But I think I'll do three pages. Um, let me see here. Maybe, um, I might do two pages and then three. I don't know. I, I, they don't have this very nice, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is dealing with actual figures. So, I don't know how we're going to incorporate Braille, but I think we're going to incorporate Braille. Whoops, you're moving around. <laughs> um, into arithmetic, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm trying to move you so that you're not. There we go. Are you still moving? I hope you're not moving. I don't know how to get you to stay, stay put. I think you no, maybe you're not moving. Okay. So I don't know how we're going to put Braille in here, but somehow Braille is going to be used again. Um, so working with a Brailler will also strengthen my fingers for, <laughs> for keyboard work. Yeah. Okay. So chapter two, introduction to... Oh, Introduction of Figures, Lesson 1. Um, we have some shapes and some dots. Oh, and the questions say, how many lines bound the circle? What? How many lines Bound this circle. Um, I'm going to say one. <laughs> Number or whatever the next one is. The figure shows how many lines bound a circle. Wait, what figure? Oh, I can't read. What figures show how many lines bound a circle? That would be one, like the figure one. Illustrate and write the answers in figures. Okay, so when I copy these out, I have to draw pictures and then write out the numbers, I guess. Okay, three bottles were on a shelf. Two bottles fell off. How many bottles were left on the shelf? Okay. There would be three less two is one. There'd be one bottle left on the shelf. A hen had seven chickens. Two were white four were brown and 
and the rest were black. How many were black? I gotta think. Two, four, that's one. One was black. Because two and four are six, and one is seven. <clears throat> the next one says, um, Jack had five pairs. He gave two pairs to each of two boys. How many pairs had he left? He had one pair left. That sounds really good. Like, I'm hungry. My thing keeps falling over. over. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to get you guys to, like, stay put. Oops. What was that? Will you stay put there? Okay, there. Now I gotta find my page again. Alright, um... So, I'm going to make a pizza later today because I'm hungry. <laughs> John had five... Oh, we already did the one with the five pears. Uh, Mary had caught eight apples. Oh, you don't catch apples, do you? Mary... Mary had eight apples. She gave... Three to each of her girls. Oh, each of two girls. And ate one apple herself. How many apples had she left? Okay, she had eight. And she gave three to two girls. So that's six. And then she had uh, eight, one. So she would only have seven. No, she would have one left over. One? Yeah. She would have one left over. <clears throat> Next page. Somebody's car alarm is going off. Lesson number two. The number four, it looks like. Okay, how many sides has this square? Four sides. What figure shows how many sides a square has? The figure four? <laughs> um, what figure shows three? No. What figure shows there are four star stars a two in a square? Four stars in a square. What is S T A R spell? It doesn't spell anything. Ah uh, er. Stars are stars. Isn't there isn't there like an I in there or an E or something? But I'm gonna say the answer is four. Okay. Um what figure shows how many dots are in each rectangle. Um, what rectangle? I'm gonna say four again. But these are not rectangles. How many dots are in each? Rectangle. Illustrate and write the answers in figures. I bought two two cent stamps. 
how many um how much did I pay for them? You bought two two cent stamps you had um one left no. Oh you bought them that would be four cents. <clears throat> Um, a man had eight wide wheels. A man had eight wheels to sell. He sold four. Wait, he sold half of them. How many did he sell? He sold four wheels. The next one says, how many marbles are five cent each can you buy? Wait. Oh, how many marbles at five cent each can you buy for six cents? How many cents will be left? How many marbles at five cents each? Can you buy with six? You can only buy one marble, and then you would have one cent left over. <clears throat> if I did that correctly. Five cents each. Oh, you have, yeah. You could only buy one Five cent marble, and you'd have one cent left over. Those are pretty expensive marbles. <clears throat> How many? Oh wait, we already did that one. While had oh Willie had six cents. How many cakes at a cent each can he buy? And how? And have two cents left. He has six. Well, how much are the cakes? Well, he has six cents. How many cakes can he buy at a cent each? Okay, so the cakes are one cent. And he has six. And he needs to have two left. So he can only get four cakes. <clears throat> the next one says, oh, hold on. The next one says, how many pencils? At two for a cent, can you buy for two cents? You can get four pencils. Did I say you could get four cakes? You can get four cakes and have two cents left over at uh, Willie, the question with the cakes. Um, two pint milk, wait, two pints make a quart. Two pints make a quart. <laughs> If a quart of milk costs eight cents, what will the pint of milk cost? Four cents. How many two cent stamps can you buy for nine cents? And how many cents will you have left over? Two cents. You can get two, four, I think you can only get four stamps, and then you'd have one cent left over. How many more sides have a triangle and square than a triangle how many more sides oh triangle and a square than just a triangle 
Um, the triangle and the square would have seven sides. And the square would just have one, three sides. So you could only get, uh, there'd be four sides more that you would have. Oh. oh, okay, so that's two, three, I'm going to go start my pizza, and then I'm going to do the next chunk of lessons in, I guess, part two or whatever, however I mark my arithmetic, but I'm going to start my pizza right now because I'm really hungry. So if you want to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget, ring the notification bell for all notifications <laughs> as you're looking at my pillow. <laughs>